Okay, one, two, one, and done. One and done. All right, you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Good afternoon, and welcome. Which camera am I? And welcome to the first ever KD Conservatory movie trivia quiz game. <laughs> the, the winner will be crowned the first ever KD movie trivia quiz game champion and win this fabulous award. Yes. Now let's meet our distinguished panel of contestants. Start. You say your name first, yeah, just say your name. And... My name is Alvaro Carranza from Katie Conservatory, second semester. I am Tiffany Sky Dotson from Katie Conservatory, and I'm a graduate. Hello, my name is Connor Ellis Gunnels. I'm in my second semester of the acting program at Katie Conservatory. <laughs> and I am Hope Williams, and I'm also with Katie Conservatory in my second semester. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, so the way the game will work is I'm going to read a question and then I will read three answer choices and after a period of time that I deem appropriate, I will ask you to pick one of the cards corresponding to the answer choice. And whoever gets the most questions right will win. So without further ado, question one. In the film, National Treasure, the good guys use Google. What search engine do the bad guys use? A, Bing, B, Yahoo, C, Ask.com. Oh. All right, lift them up, show them to the, yeah, okay, so. The correct answer was B, Yahoo. Oh, Yahoo! Get you. So, it's one point for Connor. Uh, is, that, is that a real thing? Are they really? Yeah. The thing. I didn't lie about the question. No, these are real, <laughs> true questions. I just should have gone with And true answers. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even yeah. knows his stuff. Right. Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> okay, great. Um, <laughs> question number two. How many pairs of prop glasses did Daniel Radcliffe go through by the end of the Harry Potter film series? A, 20, B, 75, C, 160. Is it possible to repeat the question? Sure. I am now going to repeat the question. How many pairs of prop glasses did Daniel Radcliffe go through by the end of the Harry Potter film series? A, 20, B, 75, C, 160. Well, his head must have got bigger. Ah, we... You know, throughout filming, right? Oh, maybe. Oh, That's yeah. pretty good. Four, Wait. three, two, one. All right, the correct answer was C. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! 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 Too many! Yes! Because his head got be. bigger. <laughs> His head got bigger. Wow, Ooh, his head did get bigger. You want to see too? I'm so excited. I will see. How can you call those So we're all, are we all tied now? They're doing magic. Things happen. No. Accidents I'll happen. I'll hold that it wrong. Oh, oh yeah, now it's it. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone is tied except for Hope, who has no points. Um, <laughs> what a, what a, what a, what a, what a, no points, no life. No There's points. no hope over here. Okay. Hey, just. It's you can't go down Question there. number three. Oh. There we go. When. Steven Spielberg finished college in 2002. What did he turn in for his final film project? A, E.T., B, Schindler's List, C, a home movie he made with his family. Mm. Well, I mean, he hasn't put this one as an answer. Uh, uh, he, could, he could have put any of them. Four, three, two, one. E.T. All right, the correct answer was B, Schindler's oh! List. Oh, I just saw that movie the other day. I still haven't watched it. Wow, wait, that's what he turned in for college? Yeah. That is, that's impressive. I mean, he didn't make it. Right? Yeah, right, right. What, right yeah, but... he just did it. Jesus. He's like, this is my best one. I'm going to put it out there. Wow. Nice. Wow. That's 
Dang it. Did you get it right? No. no. I, I'm Nobody got going it right. for E.T. because I'm going E.T. E.T. That's the movie. I've been scared to watch Schindler's List. I'm, I'm just, it's, is that a scary movie? No, it's sad. No, it's too sad. I cried so bad. Like the I ugly get, cry. I don't want to get that I, I sad. I ugly cried like the whole movie. <laughs> All right, question four. This is a long one. Which of these is not something that acclaimed actor Marlon Brando did while working on the film The Island of Dr. Moreau? A. Screamed, there's a robbery at Wil Woolworths during a take because the earpiece that was feeding him lines picked up interference from police frequencies. B, befriended a little person during production and then refused to act unless said little person appeared next to him in every scene. This became the inspiration for Mini-Me from Austin Powers. C, claimed he wanted to play his character like a bagel, meaning that a bagel would stand in for him in all scenes, they would film it, and then he would do voiceover. Okay. So which one of those did Marlon Brando not do for not this film? So two of those he has done? Yes. That's just absurd. OK. There's no way. Wait, 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 right. wait, wait. No. Five, no, no, I'm not good. I'm not five, good. Wait, wait. Four, I can't three, with this two, bagel. One. All right. The correct answer was C. Yes. Are you be a big, I mean, be a big I, I, I know that he for was... For the film Superman. He, wow. did, he did that, but not for this film. Oh, so it was the film specifically, because I was like, I don't think he did that. Yes. Wait, he was a bagel in Superman? No. Okay, so he, he told the director he, he was playing an alien, and he's like, how do we not know that these aliens look like bagels? So you should just film a bagel, and I'll do voiceover. But then he did, that didn't end up happening. All right. Yeah, at the halfway point, do we ha can we have a score check from our lovely assistant Allie? Okay. <laughs> I know I'm hurt. And I would I would think about the answer. I'm like I'm gonna get that every single one You'll get that I thought next about. One. You'll get the next one. Yes. All right. All right, going into question six, it's still anybody's game. Okay. <laughs> question six, by how much did the Navy's recruitment increase after the release of Top Gun? A, 125%, B, 250%, C, 500%. Hmm, <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Can you the answers again, please? Right. A, 125%. B, 250%, and C, 500%. <laughs> the question is, by how much did the Navy's recruitment increase after the release of the film Top Gun? 125%, 250%, and 500%. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. All right, five. Four, three, two, one, just okay. The correct answer was C. Oh. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Here's our, here's our oh, yeah. you got it. You oh. got it. get it. Woo. But I got it wrong. You got it right. That's great. Right. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal or anything. It just won't be the overshot it. Trivia champ at KD Conservatory. It's yeah. fine. It's the first one. Mm -hmm. no. It's the one that counts. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Seven. Why was Ryan Gosling cast in The Notebook? A, the director's daughter was a fan of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and he recognized Gosling as a mouseketeer. B, the director wanted someone who was not handsome and not cool. Or C, co-star Rachel McAdams was romantically involved with Gosling and refused to do the movie unless he was cast alongside her. I actually know this answer. Oh, like, I literally know this one. This is the only one I, I know out of this whole thing. Like, what are you going to say? No, no I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. What is your answer? Okay. okay. You Can pick you up count? yours first. All right, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I'm going to get it. 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 Oh, I
three, two, one. Yeah, did they get beers first? Yes. No. I knew it. And that's crazy, because now he's like one of the biggest, like, oh my god, it's very nice, you know? Handsome. It's crazy. He is really handsome. <laughs> he is so handsome. Yeah. Beard, no beard, mustache. Yeah, yeah. He's got it all. All right, so I realize I skipped a question, so we're going to go back <laughs> oh, and do that. Yeah. <laughs> all redemption, right. Redemption. Question five, for real this time. <laughs> Which of these novels was adapted into a movie by the Soviet Union? A, The Hobbit. B, The Godfather, or C, Great Expectations? The Soviet Union made the movie? Yeah, well, I'm they... Talking. Yeah. I mean, it's Soviet cinema, and I'm pretty sure the government controlled, like, everything back then. All right. A, The Hobbit, B, The Godfather, or C, Great Expectations? All right, five, four, three, two, one. It's A. What? What? <laughs> yes. The full title of The Soviet Hobbit was uh, The Fabulous Journey of Mr. Bilbo Baggins, The Hobbit, Across the Wild Land, Through the Dark Forest, Beyond the Misty Mountains, There and Back. Y'all did not know that again? Like, come on. You just Come guessed! On. Whatever! I did not know that. You just Clearly. guessed! Clearly. Context. Context. That's well, wild. Well, I'm glad they just went with The Hobbit. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's just That's not, too big of a title. That wouldn't work. People wouldn't go to go see it. They'd go to the movies and be like, I'm here to see blah, 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 and then forget the whole okay. thing. <laughs> too much. Do we still have more questions? We do still have more. There are like three questions oh, left. Oh my God. It's still anyone's game, I'm pretty sure. Right. Yes. Except, <laughs> ah, 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 there's no hope. hope. No. <laughs> we'll see about that no. one. We'll see. There's still we can, hope. <laughs> we can end with a tie. Oh, yeah. Um, question number eight. How did the Japanese director Hayao Miyazaki respond when producer Harvey Weinstein attempted to make cuts to the American release of his film Princess Mononoke? A. He refused to let his next film, Kiki's Delivery Service, be localized to America until he was assured that Weinstein would have no involvement in the project. B. He made an evil pig named Harvey the villain of his film Porco Rosso. Or C, he sent Weinstein a katana with the message, no cuts. I don't know, was Kiki's delivery service was made after Princess? He cannot say but I that. But I don't know if that's right. right. I know, that doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, I'm just making it up. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, All right. Is everyone confident with their answers? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. C. Yay! Katana with no pets. What? Ah, ha, ha. What a man! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. Woo! Oh. Uh, yeah. He's so cool. They didn't end up making cuts to the film, so. That's yeah. good. You well, got yeah, it. If you send someone a sword, I. I'm <laughs> I think you're probably gonna back out of doing that. Yeah. yeah. Who's what, what's the score now? What's the who's the score? You're you're uh three, four, three. Okay, I'm, I'm you good, you good, you good. I'm gonna come I'm gonna come with that. Yeah. Two more questions. Okay. Oh my questions. god. <laughs> All right. Question nine. Peter Ostrom, who played Charlie in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The original? Well, duh, duh. The Freddie Highmore the played Willy, the... Willy Wonka and then there's Charlie and the Chuck. The well, original. yeah, the, the original. original. That makes sense. Yeah. That was a dumb question. Yeah. Sorry. He, okay, so this actor never acted in another movie after that. What is his career now? A, firefighter. B, veterinarian. C, he's dead. Wow. That's not funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well, that's, that's not terrible. Really, I guess that's a job. That could be a choice. Is that a job? Uh, Yikes. Uh, okay. What can he do now, I guess? Oh, you see what he did? He's dead. Sean, he's doing now. He's dead. All right. Five. Oh, come on. Four. <laughs> three, two, one. B, veteran. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Y
y'all got it? Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. It was a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's good that I he's not he dead. dead. That's good yeah, he's not like, dead. Is that what is he doing now? Yeah. No, yes. but that could be. Yeah, he could just. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're dead, you can't do anything now. <laughs> yeah, being dead is yeah. doing something. And he's in one of, like, the coolest movies. Okay. That's cool. Good for him. All right, as we go into the final question, let us have a final score check. Okay, it is still anyone's game. Not really. You say you want another one. I was just like, you can have it, whatever, now, whatever. Yeah, you're going to win. Yeah. That's okay. tomorrow. All right. Oh, yeah. Friday. Friday, yeah. Final question. Sounds from what two animals were combined to create the sounds of the Brachiosaurus from Jurassic Park? Could you make this happen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice um, A. Whale and donkey. B. Lion and hippo. Or C. Dog and alligator. What B Brachiosaurus. I think that's the. I really. I don't know if that's at all close to the sound, but I will keep doing it. <laughs> yes. Okay. The answer choices again are A. Whale and donkey. B. Lion and hippo. Or C dog and alligator. I hope you guys aren't putting too much faith in my recreation of the noise because I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Five, four, three, two, one. A, whale and donkey. Okay, so, yeah, that's the last question. So what's the final score? Okay, so I wasn't fully prepared for this. <laughs> Since we have read the last question and there is a tie, there shall be a rock, paper, scissors oh! to the death uh -oh. for the winner. All right, and this is just a one and done, guys. Oh, not no, it's a one and done. One and done. All right. Tag team? Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Rock, paper. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right, so. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the, <laughs> the first ever Katie Conservatory oh oh. Trivia Champion, That's Tiffany. Wow. Congratulations. Wow. All right. Well, I don't have an outro, so <laughs> this has been the, the first ever KD Conservatory movie trivia quiz game. Thank you to our distinguished contestants. <laughs> we'll see you again if this becomes a recurring thing. <laughs>